Okay. So before I get into, let me just make sure I adjust this so you can see my screen a little better. Um, before I get into using uh, Adobe Illustrator, like I said, just move this over. I do want to show you that, you know, you can actually design your own logo online. Um, there's a couple of different places you can go. So you can go to Wix. Right. So Wix is a website builder. Um, it will let you build online uh, your own logo. Now, I personally, I've not used it. I just know that it has that feature. Um, this one was actually made uh, known to me fairly recently. Uh, Taylor Brands. Um, it's pretty cool because uh, they'll actually create uh, business cards and all that stuff. So, you know, there, there's there's a cost to it. Um, which I appreciate, but it, uh, uh, it, it's a way for you to build a logo very quickly using, well, basically artificial intelligence. Um, you know, so if I was to put in, you know, build my digital business, right. And to be honest with you, when I, You'll see my logo in a, in, a, in a little bit, but I actually use this to kind of get some ideas, All right? So I'm going to put in here, um, consultant, right? And I could put some more stuff. So let's just go, you know, web design, um, digital marketing. Let's just do that for now, but you can put some more stuff. So now you could choose a logo type, icon based, which, like I said, that's that avatar based, right? Um, uh, name based or initial based. So initial based, that's interesting because the, um, the icon is actually just text, right? So I'm just going to choose the, the icon based one and I'm going to do an abstract shape. And it says, you know, choose three styles you love. And I'm just going to choose, uh, well, let's see. What do I like here? I like bolder, I like trendy, and I like smoother. So I'm going to go next. And it's just going to take that information and it's going to design a logo for me. Create my business cards, plan some social posts. And this is what it came up with. I frankly don't like it, but there was one that it came up with a few, a uh, few days ago that I did like. Um, and I use it to springboard, uh, to what we're going to see in, in a little bit. Um, so that's taylorbrands.com. That's one way to go. Uh, the other one is I actually use Canva. Um, there's a free version of Canva. I'm actually on the paid version of Canva. Um, Canva is a place where you can go to get, um, stock photos, um, and do some, some really basic layout work. Uh, it's, it's, it's really come in very handy for certain things. I'm still a fan of some of the more advanced, you know, photo libraries and, and online, um, uh, uh, repositories for, uh, again, photos and graphics and all that stuff. But this one, I've been using it a lot, right? So you can actually, you can actually go and create a design and then choose a uh, logo, right? So let's just choose a uh, logo right there, right? And then it'll give you a whole bunch of just ideas on the side here, right? Facebook shop logos, uh, animated logos, gaming logos, you know, badge logos, you know, and see, so then you can go and press uh, see all and then there's a whole bunch here that you can choose from and you can go in and you know change the icon um, all that stuff right so um, just just to show you there's red lion events right and now I can uh, ungroup that I can change this icon to a different icon by going to you know, elements and choosing a shape or you know some other thing here I can change the uh, the font style, 
the font size. You know, so there's a whole bunch of things you can do here. Um, so uh, Canva, you can save this as a vector file, um, which would be uh, one of these PDFs, PDF print or PDF standard. Um, it'll download as a PDF file, which would be a vector file. So that's something uh, to keep in mind. But this is what I'm using, which is um, Adobe Illustrator. So I'm not going to do the whole thing from scratch here because it took me a little bit to get to the final product. But I did want to kind of show you a little of my process here.